Get in, we frauded our way to the top of the group. Honestly, Roy Hodgson, man, oh, he's got to go no matter what happens in the Euros. He named an unstarting lineup. Who the hell does that when we saw how lethargic we were against Russia? And uh, we went 1 0 down, and everyone feared the worst. By then, it was a fantastic bail free kick from 35 yards. Obviously, Joe Hart should have done a lot better, should have saved it, but Gareth Bale is just world class, and now he's top scorer in the Euros so far. So, um,. Uh, yeah, at halftime though, Roy Hodgson finally, knowing that his job's on the line, I mean we've got one point currently, that would have made it six games without winning in competitions, like the World Cup, Euros, in actual competitions, so he had to, and he brought on uh, Vardy and Sturridge and both scored, it, it's not rocket science, he... Why play Kane, alright? Kane has had two poor games, of course he has, but he hasn't suited the system. He's had to come back, get the ball from deep, 35 yards. He, he's the sort of striker that needs the ball to feet. He's very, very good when he gets that on the last man. But we weren't set up to play that. Vardy, on the other hand, Sturridge, they can run at defenders. They've got pace. They're great at dribbling. So why not start them? I mean, I don't see... The point in starting Kane if you're not going to play to his strengths. So start Vardy and Sturridge. Heck, Rashford came on towards the end and he looked so composed for an 18-year-old playing some lovely one-twos. He didn't put a foot wrong in that game. He was chasing the ball well. And to be fair, all three of them, I think, should start against Slovakia. I think that would be ridiculous. That would be nice to see the attacking intent. I mean, the amount of runners we had in the box when Sturridge, Kane, uh, Kane, sorry, Sturridge, Vardy and Rashford were all... Uh, on the pitch, there were so many people running in, there were so many other runs, there was crosses going in, it was just attacking football, and we actually looked decent, and it was a matter of time when the goals would come, and we finally did it, but yeah, early, earlier on, as I say, uh, in the first half, it was just, it was just really, really bad, we didn't really carve too much out, there wasn't any huge chances of note for England, obviously Bale scored for Wales, so it went 1-0 at half time, we made the changes, uh, finally, Sterling, who, well actually, yeah, we did have a sit I've just remembered, Sterling missed our only opportunity in the first half, 17 minutes in or something, and he blasts it over the bar, and he has to do better, but he got subbed off, so did Kane, who had a poor game as well, as I say, uh, for Vardy and Sturridge, and then, 56 minute, I think, corners whipped in, and uh, it, it's um, headed out, but then, uh, well, it's not headed out. There's a chance and it comes to Ashley Williams. Vardy's miles offside, but it's Ashley Williams who heads it. So it doesn't matter how far offside he is. Because it's a Welsh player, it's not offside. And uh, yeah, he manages to score Vardy with like pretty much his first touch of the game. And that's what he is. He's an impact player. And to be fair, he should have started from the beginning. And I don't know why he didn't. But uh, anyway, we finally, after so much pressure, so many... Um, well, attacks. Wales defended so well, credit to them, but in the 92nd minute, I think, Sturridge, it's lovely play, intricate play from uh, Sturridge and Ali, I think. Ali somehow hooks the ball to Sturridge. There's Wales bodies flying in all over the place. Somehow Sturridge manages to find it, uh, nestle the ball into the bottom left of the corner, and we win 2-1, thankfully. And yeah, the introduction of the three strikers was perfect, so just go with them. Lolana had a solid game before he was subbed off, though, so there's that problem, um, because he was terrific. He was England's best player up until the point when he was subbed off, in my opinion, by quite a distance, and he had a solid game in the first game as well, so... You know, I can see Rashford being sacrificed for Lalana, which I suppose is fair enough, but he, he showed potential, Rashford, and he's only 18, so he's only going to get better, but I would love to see that. Kane, uh, not Kane, God's sake, Sturridge, Vardy and Rashford all playing, all interchanging like they were towards the end of the game, and it would cause Slovakia real, real problems. They they um, picked up a huge win against Russia, so uh, they'll know that if this is a big game for England, and for uh, Slovakia, e if either wins, I think they top the group, although it depends what Wales do against Russia if Slovakia win. If England win, then we definitely top the group because we're on four points, Slovakia and Wales are on three, Russia are on one. So uh, as long as England do beat Slovakia, then we'll top the group. So we need to go with at least Sturridge and Vardy up front, hopefully with Rashford, and yeah, there's not wingers there, but they're all pacey, and they can all drift out wide and interchange, and make it difficult for the Slovakia defence, so yeah, 
that's what I want to see. And then a midfield three maybe of Ali, Dyer, and Rooney. As I say, it's hard to drop Lalana because he was absolutely terrific. So the likelihood is we'll probably end up seeing Rashford being brought on at half time for a sub and then Lalana will start, which is fair enough because Lalana did do very, very well. Walker was fantastic as well. I agree with uh, Martin Keown. So far in the Euros, he's been the best right back. He's been the most attacking. He's been defensively decent as well, but he's, he's whipped in some great crosses. He's just been a thorn in the side of, um, well, Wales defence this time. And, uh, yeah, we've got to win top of the group. And uh, hopefully Roy gets sacked no matter what because it's criminal. It's criminal to have left Sturridge, Vardy and Rashford on the bench for two games in succession and only bringing them on when we're 1-0 down. But we've got the win, so let's see how far we can go in the competition. We're almost guaranteed to go through, but let's win the, comp uh, win the competition. Whoa, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself here. Win the groups and then see how far we can get in the competition.